January 27th, lesson number 27 of 365 Science of Mind. My name is Antonio Thornton, and today's lesson is The Spirit Lives Within Me. And the quote is, Then shall thy light bring break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. And that's from Isaiah 58 and 8. And the text reads, Spiritual mind healing has long since passed the experimental stage. I'm just going to read that again. Spiritual mind healing has long since passed the experimental stage. We now know that we cannot tell where the body begins and the mind leaves off. And many of us believe that the actions, organs, and functions of the physical body are really the activities of the infinite intelligence within us. To come to realize then that there is one body, which is the body of God, and which at the same time, at the same time, our own body is to accept a greater influx of the one life. And the affirmation for today is we should daily affirm. There is one life, that life is God. That life is my life now. Every organ, action, and function of my physical body is in harmony with the divine life. There is per perfect circulation, perfect assimilation, and perfect elimination. If there is anything in me that does not belong, it is removed. If there is anything that my physical being needs that it does not appear to have, it is supplied. And reading further down, I affirm then that my body is the body of God. It is the body of right ideas, all working in harmony with each other. And the, the life of the spirit does circulate through it. The law of the spirit does govern it. The law of the spirit does sustain it. Therefore, I sleep in peace and wake in joy and live in the continual acceptance that life is good. So, this lesson is about a couple of things more specifically around the idea of our physical nature being an extension of the infinite. Now, what that means to, to a large degree is that our health is a reflection of our connection with the one mind, the one life. And what do you mean by that, Antonio? Well, what I mean is that when we recognize and understand that the physical body that we are borrowing for the period of time that we do, when we realize that this physical meat sack that we walk around in and function in the world uh, through is just an extension of the divine, we can bring about healing in a way that we otherwise may not be able to. In Louise Hay's book, Heal Your Body, she talks about the psychological and spiritual and physical causes for the physical symptoms that we experience in our physical bodies. Think about that, the metaphysical causes for the physical ailments that we may experience that 
disbelief in ourself may create uh, lower back pain. Not speaking up for yourself could create uh, throat and or mouth problems. Uh, taking on too much burden, uh, and if, I think that's the one that's associated with, with back pain as well, lower back. So, I, I, and I think I remember, as I remember having a conversation with someone about a, a common cold being a symptom of confusion. And, you know, this person just kind of blew it off and says, well, maybe I just have a cold. And that's fine. Uh, if, if that's what you believe, and, and if that is what you believe, that is probably going to be the experience that you have. And not to point the finger at this person and not to judge their life, but the interesting thing is, is that they were confused about what they wanted to do with their job and the business and what they what what direction they were going to go. They were confused about that, but that's another story. Well, really, it's not. It's the same thing. It's a it is a physical reflection of what may be going on internally. So the two things that and I want to make sure that you're clear on what it is I'm actually extracting from this lesson. The two things is that our physical bodies, whether it be physical ailments or anything of that nature, is a reflection of the one, the divine, and our mental, emotional, spiritual uh, state of being. And as such, we can bring about healing in our lives with simple changes, simple adjustments that can and will lead to physical healing. The title is The Spirit Lives Within Me. And I'm just going to read a portion of this quote here. And thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. And, you know, I, I think, you know, a lot of times this can be, you know, misinterpreted as, you know, if, you know, if you pray more, you'll be healthier, or, and if you pray less, you won't. And, and here's the thing, if, if that's what you believe, guess what? You know, we, we, we get the thing that we believe in. When, whatever the belief system we have for ourselves, that is what we tend to experience. But this takes it a little bit deeper and talks about the, the relationship with us and the divine and in our knowing that we can evict, if you want to call it, vi viruses and, and bacteria because those things are only those things are only there for our growth and development. Remember when I talked about that before, that all the things that we bring into our experience are here for our growth and development. That's exactly what I'm talking about as well. And that is also what happens in our physical being. Sometimes if we're working too hard, our bodies may shut down and force us to sleep, force us to take a few days off, whether we want to or not. And is that because randomly my body just decided to get sick at one time? No, I believe that it is your body bringing you back into harmony and maybe bringing on disease, maybe bringing on bacteria, virus, whatever the case may be for your growth and development. You know, if you took someone who had never, ever been exposed to anything, let's say they were born into a sterile environment and they, and they completely remained in a sterile environment for, you know, one, two, three, four, five years old, six years old, seven year old, eight year old. And as a nine or 10 year old, they were taken out of that sterile environment and just put into the world. They very well could die almost instantly because their bodies 
have not built the proper immunity to function in the world that we live in because of having come up in this completely sterile environment. Their bodies never had to fight off anything of, of any significance, never had to really you know, deal with a viral infection or a bacterial infection. So it, it really just, it, it just kind of floats along and then poof, it's hit with all this stuff left and right and it doesn't know what to do. Uh, it's not guaranteed that that person could die, but it's very well likely that they would because their bodies just would not know how to function. So when we are exposed to things, our bodies create the immunity for it and, and allows us to be what? Stronger and healthier. That is our growth. That is our growth. Uh, so not to get off in a tangent with that, but recognizing that one, these things are here for our growth and development and being with whatever is going on in your body, being with it, not judging it, not making it bad, not making it wrong, but loving it as if, as you would love any aspect of yourself and evicting it through your affirmation of your knowing, your belief, your understanding of your connection with the one life. In this affirmation, it says, there is one life. That life is God. That life is my life now. Every organ, action, and function of my physical body is in harmony with the divine life. Wow, what a perfect, perfect affirmation. And I'm going to skip, well, no, I'm going to go ahead and read it because it, I think it's just as powerful. There is perfect circulation, perfect assimilation, and perfect elimination, right? Meaning the things that I bring uh, into, well, perfect circulation, that everything is functioning like it should. Things are moving throughout my body like it should. Perfect assimilation, things that I bring into my body pulls out the right nutrients to do what it needs to do. Perfect elimination, that the things that I don't need are pushed out there, pushed out if there is anything in me that does not belong, it is removed. And if there is anything that my physical being needs that it does not appear to have, it is supplied. Yes, you can create healing for yourself. You absolutely can create healing for yourself using your mind, the belief and the understanding that there is no difference between you and God, and there is no difference between your body and mind. And that, that, that realization, that, that revelation can create some of the most miraculous healing you've, you've ever witnessed, because that's the power of the mind. So a great lesson here is one, keeping the knowing in the forefront of your mind that God is all, including my body. God is all, including my body. So that just keeping that in the forefront of, of your mind. And as such, the second thing is that if anything does appear to be going wrong, appear to be have a deficit or whatever the case may be, reminding you that God is all, including my body. So I can create whatever existence I desire with that knowledge, with that knowledge, that just that knowledge, that knowing, that believing, it is powerful. That is powerful. It is powerful. So take that on and we'll see you tomorrow and day number 28. I'd love to get your thoughts and opinions as always in the comment section and your likes and shares would be much appreciated as well. Antonio Thornton signing off, 365 Science of Mind. We'll see you tomorrow.